hey, and thank you for clicking play. Um, of course, this is the week. This is the week I'm going to cover some pickups, actually. Um, so, yes, got some pickups. Before we get into the pickups, I want to get into rid of, get into things that I've got rid of. Some of which I got rid of ages ago, but I've just never been able to fit in that information into a video. So my old Acer that I used to use for video editing, that's gone. Uh, my laptop, the Dell that lots of people ask, keep asking me questions on, I've sold it, bugger off. Um, there was nothing wrong with it, I just sold mine, I don't use it. Um, and so what I've got rid of, remember the, the, the lot of games that I got from Nick, at really good prices, as discussed previously, I did to recoup some of the money and make my wife happy, I sold, I think it was four of the games, put a screenshot up, um, at, essentially I sold them for the price that I got them, you know, totaled up the job lot, divided by the amount I paid for them, and, and that's what I charged for them, sold in minutes to various people on the Perth Amiga users group, so really happy to do that. Also, all the magazine discs from that haul um, that I don't need, uh, my friend Al is going to get, and he's got some games that he's going to give me in return, so I'm really happy with that deal as well, it just hasn't happened yet. Uh, but they're put aside with his name on it. And the tub of discs, the insane big tub of discs, over 800 discs. I took what I needed. Some of the magazine discs obviously came out of that lot. And um, I ended up with 450 left, which I sold to my mate Matt M um, for... What did I charge you, Matt? Was it 40 or 45? Whatever. So, um, yeah, he was happy with that. I was happy with that. And I mean... <laughs> It was almost impossible to not make good on that box of discs because at the end of the day, I got them so cheap from Nick. So I am still in massive appreciation of that. So I just wanted to cover that. Let's have a look at what we've got. So first and foremost, I keep saying in the comments of other people's pickup videos, especially for the UK, when they're doing charity shops and also in America, and I get so jealous because we, it's so slim pickings in charity shops over here, but I did do some charity shop pickups. Um, and there's stuff that I saw in the DVD section of this particular charity shop near me, and I'd sort of put them aside and then left them there, walked away that day. Next time I went back, they were gone. Went back again, and that's when I found out they try and not keep them with the DVDs. They actually keep them behind the counter, and you have to ask to see what they've got in there. They must have a thieving going on. So they do actually have some, still not a massive selection, but I got some, so let's jump straight into it, because I'm happy with these. So charity shop pickups, first ever on my channel. Charity shop pickups right here in Perth. Uh, these are PC games and a Blu-ray. So we've got Space Invaders, Anniversary, Big Bites, and that was $3. So halve these amounts for your pounds, so £1.50. Okay, so I thought I might as well pick that up as soon as I was spending some money in the shop. I thought might as well not leave it there. The one that I really wanted to pick up is this, and there's a bit of a story behind this. So this is... Insane by Codemasters, and that was two dollars. The annoying thing is, these were all marked as one dollar when they were in with the DVDs because they didn't know what they were, but anyway. Um, so two dollars now. Why I'm pleased to have this is because this is kind of a bookend. Oh, look, there's the one dollar sticker on the side there, and there's the one they actually charged me there. Um, my first copy of Insane, which is a Windows XP era game, really, um, was bought in a charity shop in the UK but it was the big box version back then with the CD cover inside it. Um, and um, I got that and Delta Force Land Warrior in Tunbridge Wells in Kent in a charity shop whilst they were still new games. And they had them there on the shelf for like £2.50. It was fantastic. I'll never forget that. Um, wish I still had those copies. But so I was actually quite pleased to be rebuying Insane because it is a really good game in a charity shop. I like that kind of, you know... Symmetry in life. Stop it. Far out. How hard can it be? Okay, this next one's a bit funny because um, I tried texting my son. It's Halo Anniversary Edition Combat Evolved for the Xbox 360. And I messaged my son on the day and I said, 
which halo is it? Because one of our halo discs um, disintegrated. It sort of snapped while somebody was pulling it out of the case. And I thought it was this one. And I didn't get a response in time. I thought, screw it. I'll just buy it anyway because it's $3. So I bought that. And guess what? No, we don't need this one. In fact, I think there's a third copy of this in our house. <laughs> so, but the other two belong to the boys. This one is mine. I now have my own copy of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition for the Xbox 360. So I'm happy with that. This last one's a movie, but I don't care because this is fantastic. Now, what I'd put aside and decided to not buy it in the same charity shop was 28 days later and 28 weeks later, DVD. When I went back, I couldn't find it. So imagine how pleased I was to actually bother sifting through and actually finding it there in Blu-ray. I friggin' love these movies. These are a testament to the British film industry because I swear... These are the best zombie movies ever made. Uh, hmm. Actually, maybe Le Horde, which is a French movie. That's fantastic. A scene with an old guy in a, in a skinny alley, hordes of zombies running at him, and he's got a, a ex-World War II MG42, I'm pretty sure, just spamming side to side. Funniest scene you'll ever see. Funniest scene. But this, man, this is up there. This is so up there. Smacks the crap out of World War Z. Um, so we'll put that there slightly out of shot because it's... Uh, oh, it's in shot. Whatever. Now, I'm doing things in the order they arrived. And I'm going to get serious on this next one. As you remember... Actually, let's go happy before we go sad. I'm going to cut two. Do you remember I bought Shadow of the Beast 1? Let's have a look at the footage. My dad, bless him, unboxed it for me over Skype. And, you know, I got that fairly cheap, I think, um, you know, in terms of how much you could pay for Shadow of the Beast long box. Still waiting for me in the UK. Here's my dad unboxing it for me, bless him, on Skype. And I do have his permission for him to be in the video. Chris, thanks for buying. Uh, enjoy the game. Never... Never what? Never knew it was such a classic. Yeah, yeah. I don't think, the, don't think the guy knew what he had. A bit late then, wasn't it? Well, no, because it was a bidding one, so I still had to win the bid. And it still, it was cheaper than I could get it over here, but it still wasn't cheap. Oh, that's lovely, that is. Originally. Yeah, like original. yeah. And you've got two of them. Yeah. You can read that now. All right. All right. That's all good. You can put it all back in the box. There should be a manual and then and a and a warranty card or whatever, and that's it. Yeah. Cool. And I've just I've recorded you opening the box, Dad, so I can add it to one of my videos. <laughs> I, I won't yeah, have your right. face on there. I won't have your face on there or anything or your voice. Oh, I don't mind. Yeah, a little bit, tilt it a little bit more towards me. That's perfect. And then the back, turn it round. That's it. Thank you very much. Very good. So that's fantastic, isn't it? My dad over Skype unboxing Shadow the Beast for me. And thinking it's brand new, kind of. Well, he knew it wasn't brand new, but my mum's in the background, you know, saying... It's tell him there's no T-shirt, but it says there should be a T-shirt because she thought it was brand new because that's the quality that I got. Now, keep it in mind, I already have Shadow of the Beast 2 that I got off my mate Lee, but I think I've been caught up in a little... Well, it's an easy set to collect, isn't it? Because there's only three of them. I haven't bought all three, but I have bought Shadow of the Beast 2. What up? I didn't hold it up before I did that. Here we go, off eBay. In Australia, Shadow of the Beast 2. Can you see that dent there? You can see that dent there. That's probably due to an incident in postage. But let's unwrap the full story for you. So this was on an Australian-based eBay seller. And I'm not going to name him. Much as I'm tempted to. You can tell this is more serious than I usually go. Okay. So he had one copy that my mate Al bought. And I, I waited to see if Al was going to buy it. Um... 
and I actually held off and I messaged the guy saying, I'm interested in this, but I think my mate Al's and I'd rather he have it first. And so that's the story behind that one. I can't remember what it was advertised for, but I know Al got it for, I think, $100. So it's up there. It's up there. And I said to the guy, message me if you ever get another copy in. He didn't message me, but I later saw that he had another copy in, which is this copy in my hand here. For $185. <laughs> like, 185 bucks. I wasn't going to pay that. There's no way. Or it might have been 180. I do apologize. Maybe it was 180. Take that $5 off. Australian. So halve it for British pounds. So anyway, I messaged him. Long story short on that side, the lowest he would go was 150 plus postage. So $16 postage as well. 150. And I'm an idiot. Look, this is my fault. I got FOMO. And I thought, screw it, I want it, you only live once, I'm buying it. Now, why did I pay that much for it? Because it was advertised as, as new condition. That's how he described this, as new condition. Now, I looked at the photos, that dent that I've just pointed out, in all honesty, and I've looked back at the photos, you can't see that dent. Let me try and catch it in the light again. You can't see the dent that's there, so maybe that happened in postage. But what clearly didn't happen in postage is the fact that, well, this entire box is dulled. I've got other games that I would definitely describe as some of the ones I got off Nick that I cho chose to keep, like um, Dragon's Breath and um, War in Middle Earth. They I would describe as in as new condition. This is nowhere near in as new condition. This has lost a lot of its sheen. Um, it's got some rippling in that surface decal on the box. But worse than that, I mean, it hasn't got everything on the inside. I wasn't expecting the T-shirt and I saw the photos. Again, my fault for not paying attention to the photos. But what's inside the box is the two discs and the manual. None of the additional paperwork that would have come with it. And this, it's got bloody writing on the inside of the box. So look, the, the positives, it's in good condition and it works, I've tested it, it loads, it works. So that's good, I've got a working Shadow of the Beast 2 long box. That's the positive I get out of that. I messaged the seller and did have a bit of a discussion with him. I'm not one to ask for a refund, I would rather the seller do the right thing and offer one. And he agreed that my description of good condition was probably closer to the truth than as new but no refund was offered. So look, lesson learned, fool me once. Um, if I bother to look at that guy's eBay store ever, ever again, I will certainly not be paying asking price. I will be asking for additional photos and I'll certainly always be asking for a discount because, you know, reasons. So anyway, right, so that's that. So let's move on to some more positive stuff again. Um, next one is a bit of a boring one. Then we'll get into this and go, but, but, it's a, but I'm, I'm grateful for it. So guy that I've got to know off of the RMC Discord channel uh, called Andrew, lovely guy, and he was selling um, some, and these are hard to get hold of, blank, so they're, they're, not, they're not that exciting, but these are blank, and some of you may have never seen these. These are blank Amstrad CPC 464 disc edition, whichever one that is. That the, uh, anyway, the Amstrad version with the disc, or of course, Spectrum Plus 3. They're the same discs, a proprietary Amstrad design, bless them, but really handy to sample some discs. So I've got, I bought five off him um, at reasonable prices. Can't remember what they were. I think they were two, two pounds a disc or something. I can't remember. Um, and these came to me in super quick time, actually. So I'm pleased to have those because A, if I need to burn disc images, if I buy some plus three games and they don't work, then maybe I can make a backup copy for myself. And also some of the programs that I want to rewrite, um, I can now write them to disc, some of the basic programs that I made back in the day. So that's good to have them. So thank you, Andrew, for those. And now these arrived today. I have another personalized thank you letter from um, Natasha. Uh, so she actually signs Natalia. So I don't know if it's Natalia or Natasha or if there's two different people. I don't know. But from Zosia Entertainment in Russia. 
because you know how in love I was with um, Valley of Rains when that arrived and just the quality and the attention to detail. And I thought, look, if you're going to order one game, you might as well order several. <laughs> so, what do we have? What arrived today from Zostia Entertainment in Russia? I wish I had some vodka to toast them. I have purchased The Dark. We'll have a look at that one in a second. These are the ones, look, screw this. These go out the way like that because these should take pride of place in front of the Spectrum Plus 3. So we have Zoistia, uh, we have The Dark, sorry. I couldn't resist and I'm going to have to show this to my mate Mike because um, he has a WRX, he's owned several WRXs, but Drift. And to show him a game that runs on a computer from the 80s that has a car from the late 90s and 2000s and the features drifting is going to be fantastic. So I bought Drift and I also bought Travel Through Time, Volume 1, Northern Lights. Just couldn't resist. I'm not going to unbox them all now, but I think the one I want you to have a look at. These, the contents of these are very similar to Valley of Rains. Um, oh, so before I do this, there's only two games on their list at the moment that I don't own. So, of course, I'm going to order them at some point. I'm on a spending ban at the moment because the wife really isn't happy. Um, <laughs> that's another story. Um, but... So once I've recouped my spending budget, I will order the other two, but they're about to release another game which will either get released this year or possibly early next year. So I might wait for that to come out and then order the three. Um, so then I'll have the complete set and then it'll be easy to keep up to date. The one I want to have a look at in front of you guys, I think is this, The Dark. So I think I gather this is a re-release or they had a version one and now there's, there's essentially two games in this. But what is meant to be in this, oh, this looks fantastic. What is meant to be in this is something very special. Oh, I can see it already. There's the tape, the dark. And so I believe there's two games essentially on there. What a lovely, very simple cassette design there. Protective foam, obviously, put that out of shot. The data CD, look at the design on that like a parchment style CD holder. So it'd be the same as all the others, you know, you got maybe a soundtrack, maybe additional information, maybe um, you'll have the tape image on there as well as a backup. Now look at this, this is the manual. Remember, usually the manual shows screenshots through the back. Oh, in fact, just feeling this. So this is the manual. <laughs> so this is all done in medieval traditional medieval style this is like a cloth like a a felt hand bound here we go the dark redux the lost pages and these are every single one is unique every single page is hand painted for each different issue that they put out. So clearly they haven't painted everything, but look, here we go, here's a fully painted page. So every single one they do by hand and they bind them individually. This I can't even describe to you. I, I seriously can't. It's like a piece of fur. It won't be real fur, obviously. Absolutely stunning. This is why I'm happy to buy. I've said it before, I wasn't going to get caught up in modern games for old systems, but my goodness, these are something very special. I, mate, mate, it's unbelievable. It's quite emotional, in fact. Was there supposed to be a poster in it? There's no poster in that one, you bastard. No, I don't think it would fit. <laughs> I don't think it would fit with the theme of that to put a poster in. I know these two do have posters. That is stunning. That is oh, amazing. All right, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I do have four more games on their way 
coming on from the UK. So I'll wait for that. There'll be a separate pickups in their own right. And I'm still bloody well waiting on issue five of Mega, uh, Mega Addict. All right, cheers guys, thanks.